Good morning. The lighting's terrible. And I really need to get out of here because it's our Casey's day. But I had to show you on banana pancakes. It's so dark outside today too. So the, the outside world's not helping the lighting. Here the, it is. Look at the length. It's so funny. It's like... <laughs> it does not look nearly as cute on me as it does on her little petite frame. So... Uh, I don't know. It's giving inmate. It's not uh, for $128. It's not uncomfortable. I mean, I'll give you that, but it looks dumb because like I have big old thighs and then it stops at the knee and then it like becomes like a high water, not to mention the fact that I'm knock kneed. So uh, <laughs> I think she might be going back. Look at it. When I bend Brody by <laughs> That is more like it. Like if you're going to become a bell bottom situation, at least go past my knee so that you can see this thick old calf I got down there. <laughs> okay, let's go downstairs. Why is it this dark right now? Like, oh, I hate when it's dark outside in the morning. <laughs> uh, I forgot to pull my butter out and my eggs. So hard to get these out with these freaking nails on. I want most of my eggs to come up. You know, I don't want them to be freezing cold when I make the dough with them. I don't know how many I'm gonna need, so I'm just gonna take out a whole bunch um, and just let them come up to temp a little bit. So that's 11. It's a nice even amount. <laughs> and then, because my house is a frigid, frigid palace. Well, not much of a palace. Speaking of palace, I started watching the Meghan and Harry thing on Hulu or Netflix or whatever it was. I started watching it yesterday. Um, I gotta say, I don't, I don't love the way, I don't love the format. Like I don't love the flow, but I'm like content wise, I am enjoying it. It's just something about the way it's put together. So like, I don't know. I feel like I'm not bored, but I'm like, well, this could have been different. I, whatever, I think, I do think it's interesting though. So we're gonna put our butter out and ah, half sticks. So I'm gonna blow dry my hair and then make some coffee. And I'm actually gonna sit down and edit my vlog to start the day. I was gonna do that later on, but seeing again as my butter is not softened, we're gonna take this big old plate of butter. Do I need this much? I don't know. We're gonna take this plate of butter and we're gonna go and turn on the fireplace and we're gonna sit it near the fireplace. I don't want it to melt, but I do want heat on it. My house is cold. It is going to take a very long time for this to soften if I leave it in the kitchen. I don't want it to melt, but having softened butter makes a difference. Um, do you guys follow that cookie guy on Instagram where he shows you like, so obviously the fire's gonna turn on, but he shows you like, here's what happens when you let it chill. Here's what happens when you put it in hot. Here's what happens when you use shortening. Here's what happens when you use butter. Here's what happens when you softened it, when you melted it, when you use cold butter. Like, dude is a beacon of information. Um, but yeah, so <laughs> I'm gonna do that. And so we'll just start with, I'm gonna make some eggs. You know what, that's a good idea. I'm gonna eat. <laughs> now that I'm staring at these eggs, I just want eggs. I'm gonna eat and then work on that and then we'll catch you in a bit after I'm done working and my butter is nice and squishy. Look at how much lighter it is now. Ignore the fact that I just turned the light on. <laughs> uh, okay, blow dried my hair, had a little bee fast and nothing else. Oh, you guys convinced me that I should do one of those little tables, excuse you, boob, and I think I'm going to. <laughs> one of the little delivery people tables you, some of you drive for them or like have spouses that drive for, you know, different couriers and stuff and you're like, oh, they always think it's nice. And I'm like, really? And it didn't take much convincing because I do love buying things that I don't need to buy and making things into cute little areas. So now I gotta figure out like a little table. I have these, oh, son of a diddly mother fudger. I forgot to freaking move the freaking, freaking rock. My stupid cover came off of my chair. Cheese and crackers and it rained. The cover came off. I've been meaning to go out there for like eight days. Keep forgetting. I need to just boop and boop, pop it over. But you see that little table? I have two of those. Why is it upside down? I don't know. But I think I put it upside down. <laughs> um, 
What if I took that one and put it in the front by the door and I put like a basket and some drinks? Let's do that. We're going to do that. Not right this second. I'm going to have to run to, say it with me, Target. <laughs> I have to go to Target. And it's not even I have to go to Target. Oh my God, I done forgot about the butter. And I moved it pretty close. Good golly, Miss Molly. I bet she was about to melt. Oh, uh oh. Okay, little, little, okay. Some parts of it are softer than others. Oh, I never made coffee. Weird. Let's get it going. Did I show you guys that I made my own drink and I named it Sarah? Que sera, sera. But I need to change it because, oh, I just need to change the size. It's like a little, it's a little much. Yeah, and then you just take it and go boop. I forgot about the butter. The butter is bad for I need a real top. I, I did get my next <laughs> vlog uploaded and ready, but girls. Bye. This butter said, bye. We're melted now. Softened? Who is she? She left two hours ago. Oh my gosh, I forgot about the freaking butter. It was one of the biggest mistakes of my life. Okay. It's one of the biggest mistakes of my life too, Harry. Things happen. Oh gosh. Okay, well, <laughs> it's softened. <laughs> All right, um, it's officially time. It's about noon. That gives me like two hours to make all of this stuff before I gotta switch gears and go get the kids. So I will link the recipes that I'm making, but we're gonna do our peppermint mocha cookies. These ones, I'll, how about this? I'll insert a photo. I'll insert a photo here. Um, these are really good because they have espresso in them and then you dip them in, and they're like thick, very, it's a very thick, thick, thick dough, you'll see it but um, they are then dipped in white chocolate and then you sprinkle the little bit of peppermint, like the pieces over it. Super good, a hit. Both of the kids, when I asked them what cookie they want, they both requested this one. It's a hit, because typically you go to a cookie exchange, you go out to get a cookie, whatever, they don't have this cookie, right? So she's special. And then I'm gonna do a butter pecan cookies, and I think this is using like brown butter, so like you have to brown the butter. Um, I don't know, I've never done that, so this one I thought looked good, but I might switch this for a maple brown butter one, where like there's like a maple icing on top and then you put the pecan on there. I'm not 100 on that one yet. Then the best rolled sugar cookies, these are literally the best rolled sugar cookies. This is an all recipes recipe that I found like over 10 years ago and I have been making this exact recipe forever. This recipe as it stands, when you print it, you can not adjust how much you're making, but if you print it, it's for like a billion freaking cookies. So just know that. <laughs> you can definitely save some for later. Then I found some peanut butter cookies in this cookie book. And um, it looks like this, just called 100 cookies. I bought it at World Market for Nala. And then I found some Neapolitan cookies, which is really just a, it's, it's just a sugar cookie with different colors in it. And so, as cute as that is and everything, I, I want different flavors. So I'm also gonna be doing this one, which is a ginger, like snaps. Not ginger snaps, like a gingery, thicky, thicky thick cookie with like some chewiness. I like a chewy cookie. I don't want it to be crunchy. I don't, I don't want none of that. Um, and then there might be another cookie. If there is, I'll put the photo here. I'm forgetting, obviously, but I will link everything. So, let's go ahead and start with the best rolled sugar cookie because She's been made a million times. I gotta get my KitchenAid out. It's 10,000 pounds. I told you guys I regret getting this big one. I wish I had my old small one and uh, I don't like the freaking thing on this one, but I will say the fact that the bowl is bigger is very helpful when I do these best rolled sugar cookie ones. So I'll show you in a minute. It's all gonna be very simple, obviously. Butter, egg, sugar, flour, rinse and repeat. Oh my gosh, and of course, my butterscotch cookies. Where the heck is that recipe? And we're obviously doing the butterscotch cookies as well, which are my favorite ones. Um, I had like whipped up this recipe. I had a base and then I just tinkered with it and then I came up with this, right? Which was not really me coming up with it. I was just throwing different stuff in there and they're like my favorite cookie. Again, a cookie you don't normally see when you go out and I don't know how many 
many of you have told me that you've used this recipe? It is on my old website. I say old because I don't update anymore. Um, and it's not the best, like most well-written thing, but they taste very good. They're very good. <laughs> I like them. Guess who busted out her other vlog camera? Me, because the other one died and I can't find the 7,000 batteries <laughs> for it. So, I hope this is a better angle. I do make dough and make the cookies in the same day plenty, you know what I mean? But a lot of these recipes require it to chill. So some, actually this is all gonna go in the freezer, but a lot of times there's like three, four, or five hours of chill time involved. So it's easier to just make all of the dough and then, you know, bake it at a different time. At least that's what I think, because I'm about to make a whole mess. I have all the stuff that's already been open, like all of my open sugars and flours and, you know, that kind of stuff, like it's over there. So we're gonna obviously use all of that first because you use your old stuff first. Um, some things though I don't buy, some things I repurchase new because I don't trust it. Coco Mama, I just bought her a cat doorbell. Well it's a dog doorbell but she's so smart. So when she like wants to play on the deck, you know what I mean, she can tap the doorbell and then when she wants to come back in, she can hit the doorbell. So we'll see how that goes. But anyway, the one things that I like to buy new every holiday season basically are my baking soda, my baking powder, and yeast if I'm gonna be making bread. I like for those things to be very, very fresh. Um, just cause normally I don't know when the last time it was that I bought it. So anyway, let's start. I just printed off two recipes. So the soft gingerbread cookies with maple glaze. And then the other one. Oh, and then another gingerbread cookie. This one is the gingerbread crinkle cookie. So apparently we're gonna be doing a gingerbread kind of thing, but I could have swore I had a maple glaze pecan recipe. I don't know. Maybe if you guys have any really incredible cookie recipes, I'll make some more dough next week because like I said, we're doing cookie exchange, but I like to just have the dough in my freezer anyway, especially now that I have that deep freezer. Really makes a difference. One and a half cups of butter softened. What do you think I did with my butter since I overdid it? I put it back in the fridge. It's the circle of life over here. In case you're wondering what it looks like from my angle, I always just keep the mixer here and then, like I said, I have that stuff there. But then I have a set of spoons for dry and I'm gonna do a set of spoons for wet. And then I just have, um, actually I'll have two sets of measuring cups as well. Those are for dry. I have a wet measuring cup up here and I can just use that for the wet stuff. Um, and then, a la Rachel Ray, I'm gonna do a garbage bowl because I know I'm gonna have mad eggs and whatever else. So it just makes it easier because my garbage can's over there. I could just pull the garbage can out, but the garbage is full and I don't like to take it out, so I'm gonna wait till other people do that. And then, <laughs> I'm just like, I probably will take it out, but ideally you just have a garbage can next to you, but two cups of sugar. Oh my gosh. I didn't even put a beater on there, y'all. This is the one I always use. One and a half cups of butter. I cannot believe I over softened it. Most of it's fine. Only a couple melted. Sing with me, sing for the years. Let's go. To scrape the bowl and I just remembered I have these so I'm gonna wash them up these were from world market 20 bucks for this one but it comes with um, like a sill pat like a silicone baking mat and this makes a huge difference when you're baking cookies I've never used like an off-brand one um, but I gotta imagine silicone silicone right so the ones I have are sill pats but um, whatever like it just makes such a difference like as far as the browning Lewis is calling. And then this one is a whisk and a scraper, but this other one had two scrapers with it. Hello? One teaspoon of salt, two teaspoons of baking powder, five cups of flour. Cookies? No, this is just a giant pancake recipe. One. Here it is, and this dough does need to chill. It says preferably overnight. It does make a difference whether or not you're baking a warm cookie or a cool dough, um, but you can make anything work, girl, if you just pay attention while it's baking. So 
done with that. And all I have to clean is the bowl, the paddle, and then this deal. The rest of it I'm not gonna clean in between, which really saves time. All right, next up, I'm gonna do the best butterscotch cookie. That's what I named them, but the butterscotch cookies, except I'm going to double this recipe because, yeah, why not? I'm kind of thinking of sending people cookies or gift. I mean, I plan on gifting them, but yeah, let's double this recipe. So a cup of butter, a cup of brown sugar, a cup of regular sugar, four eggs, three teaspoons of vanilla, four cups of cake flour, two teaspoons of cinnamon, one teaspoon of baking soda, half teaspoon of salt, pinch of nutmeg. I'm gonna use French, French, fresh nutmeg. It could be French, I don't know. And then two cups of chocolate chips, a cup and a half butterscotch, and then a cup of toffee bits. So I told you guys I couldn't find the toffee bits, so I'm gonna be crushing a bunch of Heath bars, basically. It'll be fine. LOL at the fact that I'm probably gonna need more butter. <laughs> okay, that's okay. This one only needs a cup of butter. Dang, and I almost went for that fourth pack of butter yesterday and I was like, no girl, don't overdo it. Butter cannot be overdone, it's not a thing. Coco, enough. Batty, batty behavior. salts, all that fun stuff goes next. So the one thing that makes this particular recipe a little different is that I use cake flour in this one as opposed to your regular like all-purpose flour. I don't exactly know what's the difference with cake flour. It does not contain baking powder or salt. Good to know. Well, I just added baking soda and salt <laughs> to my bowl over here. So I'm gonna do four cups of this. And then since I got them, we're gonna do whole nutmeg. I'm gonna go ahead and I guess this is all I have. It says a pinch of nutmeg, but we're just gonna use this. I love how fragrant nutmeg is, and I really feel like you can taste it. So we're gonna go ahead and grate a little nutmeg into it. Oh my gosh, fresh nutmeg, who is she? Literally, who is she? And am I supposed to be grating the outside or no? Because I don't know who she is and I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing, you guys. good. I don't want to overdo it, but I also want to overdo it. There's a fine line. So this is basically just a base at this point. You could do whatever you want. I just think it's a great base, period. It's different than like your traditional cookie base. Uh, and I told you guys I could not find the freaking toffee bits. Now, why, you knock out. why? So I just beat up a bunch of the little mini pieces of heat. So this is about a cup, maybe a little bit more. There are some bigger chunks in here. Normally they're pretty tiny. Like when you actually buy the toffee bits, they are bits. These are a little bigger. Um, I don't want anybody to get like a surprise, you know, cause toffee ain't no joke. Like it's kind of hard to bite through. Uh, but YOLO, you'll be all right. So a cup of those and then a cup and a half of butterscotch. So if you're not a butterscotch fan, you could omit this. Obviously then they're not gonna be butterscotch cookies, but that's fine. They're still cookies and literally who cares? Tupac cares, it's done by else cares. Are you reading your Bible? Oh, okay. <sighs> well as long as Tupac cares. If don't nobody else cares. We don't know who cares. Gotcha. So I'm doing a cup and a half of butterscotch chips. You don't need to measure it, but it, I find that if I don't measure, I get out of hand. <laughs> and then two cups of semi-sweet chocolate chips. So I'm just finishing the bags that I had in my pantry. Of course, always use your open stuff first and then, you know, use your new stuff. 
But again, you could do whatever you want. I am not a big fan of white chocolate, but I used to divide this out and make some with white chocolate because I knew some people liked white chocolate. So, you know, do whatever you want. It has a ton of chips in it though. So now it's just like a bowl of chips um, and bits, chips and bits. You love to see it. So then you're just gonna kind of combine it and then that's it. This dough is done. It's a very easy cookie to make. It's a very thick, not thick, like I get, it's like doughy. It's a little more, it's chewy and it's like more cakey, I guess. Um, and uh, that's the kind of cookie I like. I don't like really tiny, like crispy cookies. I don't, I don't like that. So these are a big hit for me and mine. Um, but those of you that have said that you've taken them and you've made them for work or wherever you made them for, like usually you guys have good things to say. Well, no one's ever said anything bad, but I don't think you're gonna report back and be like, these suck, but you never know. <laughs> If they suck, they suck. You know, we are all entitled to our opinion. They are a very sweet cookie. And do not mistake that because every bite is full of chips and bits. All right, I'm gonna put this in a bag, label it, clean up, and move on to the next. Okay, I completely forgot to put the cinnamon in those cookies, so I mixed a little bit in at the end, but whoopsie poopsie, it's fine. I can sprinkle a little on top. But um, we're moving on to the peppermint mocha cookies. And it does say in the directions that like it's really easy to double this and it will fit in your mixer. Um, I'm a little skeptical though because it is a thick, dry dough. Like it, she's a thick um. The, the mixer is gonna be bouncing all over the place. So we're gonna go for it. I'm gonna go ahead and double it. So, uh, Cup of butter, a cup of sugar, a cup of dark brown sugar, two eggs, two teaspoons vanilla, two teaspoons peppermint extract, obviously, uh, and then two cups of flour, and then a half cup and two tablespoons of cocoa powder. Okay, so a cup of cocoa powder. Dang, do I have a cup of cocoa powder? Two teaspoons baking soda, four teaspoons espresso powder, teaspoon of salt, semi-sweet chip, two cups of semi-sweet chocolate chips, and then eight ounces of white chocolate. I have plenty of white chocolate, but that doesn't come until later anyway. All right, so I'm gonna mix them up and I will show you the dough once it's put together. Okay, it's all done. She is a thickum, and yeah, I don't know what I was thinking of. I guess this is a bigger mixer than like the last time I made these cookies. So maybe that has to do with it. So all I gotta do now is add one cup of um, chips. So it would've been nice if I'd bought the mini chips, but I didn't. So what are you gonna do? You're gonna live, laugh, love, and work with what you got, okay? So one cup of chips. Are they supposed to be semi-sweet or dark? I forgot. Semi-sweet. Our garbage bowl is working out fabulously. It's full. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be two cups because I doubled it. Holy cow, that's a lot of chocolate. These are very chocolatey, so if you don't like chocolate, these are not the ones for you, girl. Whoa. Okay, you see how, how thick it is? And very very chocolatey so good though seriously all right these are the soft gingerbread cookies with maple glaze obviously there's no maple glaze yet and then Nala is going to pipe the little berries and the little leaf I don't know there's probably a word for that I don't know what's it called holly <laughs> what is holly <laughs> No, but I'm gonna do two different types of gingerbread cookies. I don't have any gingerbread cookies that I like. Um, I'm not even a huge fan of gingerbread, to be honest with you. The smell of this is not super appealing to me. I have never liked like the molasses, the ginger, like it's never been big on it, but um, I would love to find a cookie that I like that has that flavor, but maybe in a subtle way. Um, so I'm just gonna try these. Should I have done a double batch of a cookie I've never done before? Maybe not, but the maple glaze, I know it's really just gonna make this like incredible. I'm gonna go ahead and put this in a bag and then we're gonna do the other maple cookie, which is the one that like is crackly. I think it's rolled in like powdered sugar or something. That one sounds good too. I mean, I read the reviews on Pinterest and most people liked these cookies a lot. So I have high hopes. Okay, so this is the gingerbread crinkle cookie dough. Doubled it again. And this one will be rolled in powdered sugar, but this tastes more like the gingerbread cookies that I'm used to. It has less ginger, more nutmeg, 
less molasses than the last recipe, but somehow just gives me more of that traditional, traditional gingerbread flavor. I'm not mad at it. Okay, I have one more cookie to make on only about 15 minutes and a hot mess. Easily cleaned up, sure, but still a mess. And I gotta go get the kids in 15 minutes. So we're gonna do the last recipe, which is the butter pecan cookies. And I think these involve me, yeah, browning the butter. So let's do that real fast. Okay, it says there should be foam on top, little bits on the bottom. It should smell kind of nutty and it should have an amber color. And that's exact, well, you can't see under the foam, but there is an amber color down there. So I believe it is suitably browned. This is the Kerrygold butter. This is definitely the best butter I have. So this is gonna go directly in with our half cup of white sugar, one cup of dark brown sugar. And this is just one, híjole, this is just one batch. Like I didn't double this one because I ran out of butter. But anyway. Okay, I am like running out of time. I'm like very close to being done with Merry Little Meat Cute. I'll have thoughts on that later. I'm running out of time. So I have, you're supposed to do one and a quarter cups of pecan halves finely chopped. You toast them with the uh, butter on the stove and then you throw them into the actual mix. But I don't wanna chop nothing right now, girl. And then I also have the glazed pecans, which I happen to pick up, which are already toasty delicious. You know what I'm saying? They're already covered in a little bit of sweetness. You think, oh, is it gonna make a difference? I wanna say true to my crew, but I gotta leave in five minutes to pick up the kids. Can I do this in five minutes? It says it only takes four to five minutes. Okay, I can do it. Era, I thought you were out of butter. I mean, really I am. This is like my, we need this to eat butter at home butter. Um, but it's fine. The spreadable butter comes at a premium. That's why I didn't want to use this one, but that's okay. I almost grabbed the garlic butter. Imagine how that would have tasted. This stuff looks incredible though. The, you know, the mix in. I, I hope the brown sugar or the the brown butter or whatever. This recipe is so annoying because they didn't list the ingredients in order of how you do it. And I'm pretty sure that's how my recipe is on my website because I was a little nooblet, you know? I didn't know. But like, please list it in order. <laughs> I'm looking all over for like, well, what's next? <laughs> and it's on three different pages, which is kind of annoying. Um, all good. Okay, beat in the eggs. Oh my gosh, I didn't even beat all the eggs in. Beat in the eggs one at a time, and then using a rubber spatula, fold in the flour. I gotta get some of that. I gotta get some freaking Shit's Creek merch. I don't have any. And really, like, that show is premium. That show is quality. I, I don't have the time to finally chop. They're just gonna be in whatever my hand can do here. Oh, I know. Maybe I just beat the crap out of it a little bit. The way I did the toffee bits. Let me turn this back on. This is four cups. I only need a cup and a half. Okay. I'm gonna fold in the flour while that's toasting. Does this need any salt? Yes. And at one point, does the salt go in? Like this is. No comprendo este freaking recipe, okay? It's it's written poorly. <laughs> no, I don't like it. So hungry too, you guys. Like I really wanted to get a little something to snack on. These are looking delicious though. I tried to do the other stuff while they were cooking and I think I burnt them. No, they're not burnt. Oh, maybe I'm wrong. Yeah, they're burnt. You know what? That's okay. Happens to the best of us. We're just gonna smash the crap out of these ones. And then go get these kids. My bad. You know what? I'm not even mad at it. I only made two mistakes today. That's not bad. Plus, these ones taste delicious anyway. Well, also, I'm not folding it in. Time to fold flour in. I'm just very low beat, you know, spooning it in. I, I ain't folding no damn flour in right now. <laughs> it's not gonna happen. Okay. I can't queen 
and everything, but I can get pretty close. And now we're gonna throw these in. I mean, I would say it looks pretty good. I think it says a mix these in, but again, we're just gonna give it a little spin. That's a little high. Oh, you're still here. Okay, I'm very interested to see how these end up tasting once they're baked. I gotta say the batter doesn't necessarily taste like anything special. <gasps> I forgot to make the chocolate chip cookies. Wow, and all this rushing around to get everything put away, and I'm just gonna come home and take it out again. I'm already late. Man, <laughs> were any of you saying that out loud? Were any of you like, Sarah, no chocolate chip? Sarah, chocolate chip cookies, you don't believe in those? Sarah! Uh, normally I do snickerdoodle, but it's not today. Darn it! I cannot believe, man, it's feeling like I'm going to be ordering the kids dinner today. Because, <laughs> I, I mean, <sighs> if I'm still going to be making dough, maybe I should make one of each of these cookies just so we can taste them, right? Just one. Just one little sugar baby. All right, I'm just going to leave all of these dishes in the sink for now. Because I got to go get these kids. I'm already running like 15 minutes later than usual. Which, of course, is still not late, but... It's later than I want to be. Boom. Look at our stack, baby. Hmm. I'm not mad at this one. I'm sitting in the car 10 miles back from where I normally am. Thinking, one, I wish these had more flavor. They're popcorners. Whatever. It was the quickest thing I could grab on my way out the door. I did forget to do the chocolate chip cookies. Yes, we've established that. Do you know what Lewis's favorite cookie is? I know what it is. And I forgot to make it. Remember when I was complaining about the reduced fat peanut butter that they gave me? Where was the peanut butter, guys? Was I supposed to take the peanut butter out? Where's the peanut butter, friends? And I'm out of butter. I'm not not making peanut butter cookies. <laughs> <laughs> it ain't happening. So I guess I'm going to scoop these kids and run by Jewel. Because we need butter. And if they have full fat peanut butter, I will buy that. Because I don't really want to reduce that one. Anything else we need while I'm there? Jeez Louise. I can't believe I forgot them. This is why we make to-do lists. I should have put them on there. But all of a sudden, I'm making five, six, seven types of cookies. And I was like, whoa. And then I'm like, whoa, I didn't make my normal stuff. What am I going to do with all this cookie dough? Mm -hmm. I have no idea, girl. I might as well get some more vanilla, though. All right, we're going to go to Jewel after this on my phone because I also forgot my vlog camera at the house. But that's okay because what is there to vlog in here? Nothing. <laughs> Nothing at all. Hey, Pally Wallies. I'm back. Got the kids. Went to Jewel, got the butter, got butter, butter, just throw it on my desk, butter, Hershey's Kisses for the peanut butter cookies. They're not all going to have these on there, but I do like when you put the little Hershey's Kiss on there. I think that's real cute stuff. Extra vanilla, which I'm going to leave in the container for now, I mean in the box, so that I know this is the newest one. And then some regular old Jif, not Jiffy apparently, <laughs> peanut butter. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and make the chocolate chip cookies, the peanut butter cookies, and girl, at this point, why did I throw that? Any other kind of cookie I feel like making, because we have plenty of flour, sugar, butter, and egg. Well, we have enough eggs for now. So we're about to get into it. The next two cookies, though, are both gonna come out of a book. They're gonna come out of that 100 cookies book. And then, I don't know, maybe I'll look online or let the kids pick one, because my kitchen's already racked. I might as well continue the festivities. If you go to the oh. Jaden and Nala have never had peanut butter. Anything. Open. I only got one hand. It's not too good for peanut butter. Okay. <laughs> you scared me. Peanut brittle. <laughs> wow. Uh, the, kids, the kids have never had it before. Really? Yeah. We're gonna learn, right? I think like I ate that lady's peanut butter. <laughs> it was good too because it was chopped part of the dough. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. 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 I don't know what this one looks like, but it's millions to know what. If you want to make it, it has to be fun to my life. Like, really cool. You get a break. Yeah, I saw some girl make it the other day. It's like a true labor of love that I do not have. 
Yeah. Oh, then, you know what? I think that I got some jelly that's 10 chocolates. You want to take a little bit? Ugh. I'll kill them. Do you get chocolates from them? Oh, yeah. Yes. Yeah. The girl's got one. Oh, yeah. I finish it. Are you guys going to beat it? It's hard. Mm-hmm. What, what is this? Eat at the side that has real teeth. <laughs> so you can replace those ones? <laughs> this is very good. <laughs> is it good? Jay doesn't know. He doesn't have a point of reference because he's never had it. Now you want to try a piece of peanut brittle? Come here, bud. How did you get it from work? You remember yeah, the girl from I know. I remember that lady making it. <laughs> no. No. What was her name? Nancy. Nancy, yes. Nancy. Yes. Nancy Pelosi. Making you remember? No, I remember eating it. I remember it would come home in like a bag or something. Uh -huh, yeah. Yeah, like a Ziploc or something. I remember Nada. that. What yeah. do you think? No quieres? It's really good. Is it different mm -hmm. than what? What did you expect? Anything? A little soft though. Oh, no. Nice. It's I brittle. Like it. It's super hard. It's not like that. Overly, I mean, it's sweet, but it's not like that weird sweet that's like still. Yeah, I agree. I think it's pretty good. As far as peanut butter goes, it gets all stuck in your teeth. <laughs> yeah, like coffee. Whoa. The way William Sonoma was like, Yeah, I got one for my husband. He already cracked into it. He's gonna eat almost the whole thing. I was like, oh. <laughs> So, your husband's got expensive taste, man. Better get him some. Regular peanut brittle. He's gonna be eating it that fast. <laughs> I don't know. I was like, girl. I'm sure that Aldi brittle slap. And then these next up chocolate chip. These are the peanut butter cookies. Double them up. Use the whole thing of peanut butter in here. Very excited. See? This is good. See? Yes. Yum. Me gusta cacahuates. Do you? Duolingo in the house. You like. All right, guys, we are done making cookies. And it's even clean. Who would have thunk it? Chocolate chip, big boy Troy, that's out of the book. Soft gingerbread with maple glaze, brown butter pecan. This one almost, almost got me, this one. He's a thicky though. Peanut butter, if you don't slap it, then you don't do your job right. Butterscotch cookies, sugar cookies, gingerbread crinkle cookies, Peppermint mocha. My mom said, what is she gonna make now? That's right. <laughs> you went off and took my gingerbread cookie and... You can make a traditional gingerbread I cookie. Am. Were you gonna do that, like little people? Yes. Oh yeah. I'm That's doing so that. Cute. And I was gonna do peanut butter, but I'm gonna do something else. I'm not doing peanut butter. Yeah, I have an exceptional amount of peanut butter. Yeah. And Nala's gonna try to do the thing next year. What's it called? The farmer's market? Yep. Yeah. We're gonna kill it. Yeah, we got we gotta start testing cookies. What'd you drink? The peppermint cucumber one. Oh, you don't like this like one? Cucumber. Pineapple And then cucumber. it's sour like, like pineapple. pineapple. Hey, Grandpa, you want to try something? Wait, this is a good time to end today's vlog. Oh, crap, I realized that the mic was backwards. Sorry, guys. Anyway, I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Tomorrow, we're going to go see the Nutcracker. So exciting. Okay. I'm back for one more second. Of course, today, Acre Homestead, our girl, she posted her five easy holiday cookie dough recipes for the freezer, right? I was like, okay, you were, were look at us right here. Um, but you know what she did is she scooped them and flash froze them and might have only been in the freezer for like an hour, so I'm sure they're not like totally hard because they're all stacked. But I was like, oh, I wonder if I should do that. Um, Maybe not today because I'm tired. My feet hurt from standing in the kitchen in these crappy shoes that I had on. Um, but maybe in the future, or if you're going to freeze, then scoop them, lay them out on the sheet, freeze them, and then just go and once they're already frozen into the size that you would be using, then that way in the future you don't have to like thaw the whole thing and you can just take out as many as you're going to make. I think that's so much smarter. I could still do it, but do I want to? <laughs> anyway, okay, bye.